What up YouTube Gaming Guru 91 here and I'm back with another NHL video and today just a little update of what my roster is. It's not actually a full gameplay video or anything, it's just an update of who I have. So Jeremy Roenick on the left wing, so I did not give him a, a switch card from center to left wing, but if you look at stats, 88 skate, 86 shot, 90 handles, 80 check, 87 defense, he is a solid player. And I might do a trade day with him uh, coming up soon. So if you do want to be part of the trade day, just comment and I can send him to the trade day and just fill that slot. But he's a really good player. He's a sick shot. Then I also got Nick Backstrom. So he's a really good player too if you look at the stats. The handle's the main thing. He can dangle like no tomorrow. I think on most of his deeks he has buy. Even against goalies, they bite on everything. He's a really good player too. And I gave him the captain card to make... The stats a lot better, but even regularly, he's a good player, and he's another player who I'm thinking about putting into the trade day. But then here, Marty Havlat. So he's a little older, but his stats offensively are solid, defensively aren't that good, but defensively, I mean, sorry, but offensively, he's one of the better players, I think, stat-wise. Considering his value, I bought him for like 700, I think. But he's really good. And I got Jack Johnson. So I bought him for 4K, and he had like 30 contracts, so he has nine. So I played 21 games with him. He's a really good player, and he actually can score from the point, but he can pass. He makes nice outlet passes, and he can hit, too. Even though he's an offensive defenseman, he plays like a two-way defenseman. I really recommend him. So, Andre Mazzaros, I was just looking for a random defenseman, and he kind of showed up. He's a really good defenseman. Um, not even close to Jack Johnson, though. Johnson's a beast. But Mazzaros is a good filler player, because on my defense, usually, I just kind of fill people in. I don't actually get defensive pairings unless, like, I'm in the playoffs, and then I try to get defensive pairings, but regularly I don't. And my regular goalie, if you can, uh, I usually use a bronze and a gold goalie, but right now my goal is Peter Buda. He's my temporary goalie because I have Luongo from the Vancouver collection, but I'm trying to finish that off on a different account because I'm using farming accounts, which I will also have a video on. Uh, it's a great way to make money, but that's a totally different topic. But regularly, it would be Luongo, or it might be even Nick Bax Nicholas Backstrom, or it's Kerry Lettinen who I did give away, and I'm probably going to end up buying another one. He's a really good player. But right after now, Peter Budai is my goaltender. So here I got Placanitz. Placanitz is a good player. He's like, I think about 1.5, but his stats are really good. 86 overall, he should be at least 15-20k. So then I got Sarah Kostitsin. He's actually really good too. I don't like him that much, but his stats are pretty good. He doesn't play that well in the game, though. He's just kind of there. Like, he's a fast guy. He can set up the play. He's a decoy, kind of, for me. And here, Chris Neal. Look at those stats. He is a juggernaut. He's a really good player. And he's also, if you guys want to be, want him to be, will be part of the trade day because he's one of my favorite players regularly. He's a little bit of a dirty player, but that comes with the territory. Look at the position he plays. He's a right winger. So this actually is a good uh, place for him because I think his shot's right. Yeah, his shot's right. But what I end up doing is my wingers always switch for some reason when they're actually on the rush. So Neil almost always goes on the left side. He, his one-timer, he takes the one-knee one-timer, which is really nice looking. And they almost always go in. And here I got Rafael Diaz. He's not that great. He's another field defenseman. And I wouldn't recommend him that much. He's not great. He's just a little, a little speedy, I guess. And uh, he can get to the box. So that's what it. He can't really hit or anything. Phillips, solid defenseman. Cheap. Pretty good overall, but main thing is cheap. Um, I'm also going to have another video on cheap players to get, but again, that's another video, which will be coming soon, by the way. But he's a really good player. I really do recommend him. I actually got him as a filler, but I might even renew his contract and then uh, make a defensive line for him. Maybe him and I might even get a little Eric Carlson once I get my collections done. So here, and then these lines are just kind of, these are my filler lines because they rarely play. But I just want to say Skilly. Oh, sorry, Skilly's gone. Oh yeah, sorry, I got the line mixed up. So Skilly, I had him here before. He was really good. I recommend, I recommend him. But Johan Hecht is actually not bad. Uh, his stats are all 81 or higher. So again, NHL, EA, they I don't get how they made the overall ratings. If someone knows, comment. Because I really don't understand this. Because how can he be 70 when every stat is over 80? That literally makes no sense. And a fourth line, again, these are just random guys. Not even proper positions. So this is just a little lineup update. Uh, comment on who you want to be part of the trade day from this lineup. Um, and also, if you guys want any players to be part of my lineup that you think are good that I don't have, comment uh, on who I should get because I really want to get a good team. That's what matters, right, at the end of the day. And uh, if you like this video, uh, drop a like for me and subscribe for more 
uh, hot and NBA videos. All right, so thanks, guys. Peace.